Welcome back to Glamour with me, Joshington Host, and today in Ready, Steady, Beauty, we're joined by Ella. Hi, I'm um, Pam. I'm Pam the Pussy. Don't forget, everyone needs a pussy in their pocket. <laughs> what are we doing today, babes? Today we're going to be doing a natural look. Okay. It's the sort of like, can't be bothered, but going to make it look like I've made an effort kind of look. My favourite kind of look. So there's a lot of products. Sometimes I don't use all of them because I feel like I don't want to put too many layers on. Mm -hmm. um, but on a day where I feel like I need it, maybe yeah. hungover, I don't know. And this would be the first thing that I put on first. Mm. So we're it's called the Kiehl's Irish Extract uh, Activating Treatment Essence. I'm not going to pretend I know how to say all that. I'm just going to read it. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot on the label, huh? I do actually use this. Just... It's on the screen right yeah. now. <laughs> Ding. Okay. If this gets in your eyes, you could go blind. Are you serious? Yeah, okay, great. We are in a department store right now. Yes, it's let's close, get our department store by bar. Take mm. yourself away. Where am I taking myself to? We're gonna go to Nepal. Oh, niche. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I've great. I've never been to Nepal, but I'm just gonna make it up. This is actually one of my favorite things to use. Um, it can make the skin too oily if you wear it every day. Okay. But it's really good when I'm hungover, dehydrated. I found I sound like an alcoholic, don't I? I keep mentioning <laughs> that I'm hungover. I'm not. It's just like one of those things that you deal with quite a lot when you're 24. I also quite like it because this is kind of giving me science vibes. Oh my god, I feel like I'm in a science lab. I did this on with like the coat with jacket assistant. going on. She's rubbish. Just a few drops on the head. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I'm definitely back in Nepal now, babes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's drop Nepal. Maybe like Bali. How about that? I had a feeling you were gonna say like Bog the Regis or something, <laughs> but Bali, we are there. I've 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 played in uh say played. Um I played hockey in Bog the Regis. Once. Did you? Yeah. Were you quite an aggressive hockey player? Yeah, it was terrible. So like I'd be the one that like runs at you like ah! Once I've got the ball, I had no skill. It's a real snack not having any ball skills, babe. I know. Well, not hockey ball skills. Yeah. Anyway. Right, we've done that. Ooh. Glowing, looking mm, a bit mm, sweaty. Mm. Look like you're in Mumbai. So then next is yeah. the eye cream. What's this gonna do? Like awaken my baby blues? I find it's really good when I've got bags. Yeah. I'm feeling a bit rubbish, a bit tired. I feel like it sort of wakes me up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if it gets in your eye as well, it stings your eyes and then yes. you're definitely awake by that point. Every cloud has a silver lining. I might just close my eye because you've got some very fierce nails on Yeah, I'm babes. sorry. They're really sharp. So what are we moving on to so now? What's this product? To... Also, chic top pun. MTV partnership. Yeah. Tick, tick, boom. Tick, tick, boom. Talk me through. This is really exciting for me. Obviously, this is um, Pride inspired. Um, which we love. Which we love. I also Fly played, that flag. I played Bright and Pride with Britney Spears earlier this year. How week. was that? Sick. Did you get to meet Britney? Of course not. MTV Staying Alive is um, in support of HIV um, and sort of making sure uh, that communities and people can spread the word about HIV and prevention of HIV. Um, so that's exactly why it's Pride inspired because that's a community that, you know, has a lot of focus on that. A lot of face creams are sort of designed for elder people and like I still mm. have breakouts and stuff. So this works for young skin, I feel. Great. Right. So then, yeah, mo moisturising. Oh, this is a good little massage, babe. Okay, good. good. It's magic, babe. You don't look that much different, you just look shinier. But I think that's a good thing. It's kind of the look I always go for, because then you just look fresh, you look like mm -hmm. you're fresh out the gym, you look clean. You know, you're just so naturally gorgeous anyway. Stop it. You just need a bit of zhuzh. So we've got some Armani <laughs> lip gloss, lip stick. Here. Let's get it, it on. Good if I could get it right. Is this what is the beauty product you feel most empowered by? Is it lipstick? Concealer. <laughs> right, stay still, don't talk for a sec. I know that's hard. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. Alright, alright. Um I'm uh, this is quite a bold colour on you, I shan't know. It looks like a moustache at the moment. I thought I was better at this. I thought I was, that's why I saved this bit to last. <laughs> Well, you know what? I quite like a messy lip look because it looks like you don't care that much and you're just like, you know, candid. Mm. Cash. We like cash. Wow. I'm just really, like, scared about putting it on your teeth. Oh my god! What even is that? Hun, well, thank God for the keels because I'm glowing everywhere else. You know what, though? The colour is making your eyes pop. I kind of look like I've snogged Ronald McDonald. Yeah, you do look like you've snogged somebody. I think it's the new thing, is to like look a bit dishevelled. Dewy skin, dishevelled lip, yeah. you heard it here first, guys. Working. What's yeah, the worst interview good. question you've ever been asked? They're all like about my hair, which is a really easy thing to answer, because yeah. it stuck to my head. Do you... 
See, the one thing I really hate is when people go, can I touch it? I mean, I can be a piece of art if you like, but like, when you go to a museum, you don't touch the, the art. art. And this is the art. This is art. So have you ever had a time when you were like worried about having curly hair? Because I know Rochelle Humes has talked a lot about Most that recently. Most of my childhood, there were no celebrities mm. when I was growing up with curly hair. So like, and obviously everyone wanted to be like Beyonce, but then we all know Beyonce has lots of hairstylists. Yes, <laughs> she does. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted straight hair and a thigh gap, and now I don't want either. Great. Let, little did I know I was on trend from the day I was born. Now shush. Okay. Because this is really stressing me out. I feel like I haven't been able to show off my skills as a lip makeup artist. I feel like you're looking more like the Joker now. Well, perfectly time for Halloween, huh? Right, it is, isn't it? You look great though, sexy. How would you rate the look that you've achieved today out of 10? I feel like it wasn't my best execution and it looks a little bit like when you go to the counters in a department store. Mm -hmm. You go in wanting one thing, come out with another. But it's okay because we've made it into something. We've made it into something. We've it's made it into Halloween a look. It's a Halloween-inspired look. Yes. With a it's like dewy skin with a touch of Halloween. Yeah. So it's layered. Yeah. You can catch more tutorials on glamour.com.